this is not a planned video. I've been staying on top of what's going on because I really do feel it's going to get worse. I'm going to talk about the US dollar, crypto, letters I received from senators, and I'm just going to talk about a few things because it's all relative and it comes down to we the people, the middle class, are going to get effed even more and it's going to be harder for you to earn money and harder for you to pay things off or harder for you to even borrow money. Here we go. On my other channel, my income job YouTube channel, for a while I was writing to Congress almost every week for, i say about five months. And I learned about doing this. I put my own spin on it. It was pretty much my own words. John Deaton is suing the SEC. And what he has, connect to Congress on his website, crypto-law.us. I'm also going to give a couple of shout outs. And you can use the, the message that's already created to send to your representatives and your senators. And I'm going to read this. I really understand what I'm reading because it's out of control. And that's a great subject line. I, I, <laughs> the SEC is out of control. And it's, it, get, it continues to get more ridiculous. And let me start by the prefabricated message I am appalled and angry about the Securities and Exchange Commission's all-out war on crypto. That's a fact, if you're following it. The SEC is telling American companies to come in and register, but everyone that did so in good faith was lied to. Again, another fact. The only guidance the SEC is giving crypto is through lawsuits. That's exactly what they're doing. Worse yet, the SEC refuses to say in public or in private what the rules are for companies to follow if they want to stay in this country. Gensler should be, he should be wiped out of any future income from holding his position. He should get a pink slip. Get him out. He's holding the United States up. And it's the whole performance is public, but no one's taking any action and no one's doing anything. The SEC is even suing public companies whose IPOs were approved years ago with registration filings that made it clear their business model involves the use or trading of digital assets. The SEC never raised an objection for years but now is dragging companies into court and demanding billions in fines. Again, truth, truth, truth. This is not regulation. It is extortion. 100% true. So they say Congress must step in. There is no excuse. Of course there's no excuse. It's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. Please write the banking committee and demand legislation that saves American jobs, protects investors, sets clear rules, and ends the SEC's outrageous regulation by enforcement. They wrote me back. I was sending letters from this YouTube channel. I, I think I hung in there for about five months. They sent me this letter. Dear Miss Caesar, <laughs> from... Um, Senator Charles E. Schumer, thank you for writing to express your concerns regarding reports that Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler meet, well, met with former FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried in March 2022. If you're following this, you know that. I agree that the SEC must be fair and unbiased in regulating markets but they're not doing anything. They say a lot, but nobody's taking any action. Nobody's holding anyone accountable for setting up the United States to get behind. I just don't get it. As you know, in March 22, 
March 2022, representatives of the former cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, including the company's CEO, Sam Bankman-Fried, met with SEC Chair Gary Gensler to lobby for an alternative trading system that would have benefited the company. Well, that's why it's, it's all corrupt. According to Gensler, he rejected the representative's ask, citing conflicts within the company that clashed with the SEC's compliance standards and regulations. FTX declared bankruptcy in December of that year, and the Senate held a hearing on the company's actions and harm to consumers on December 14, 2022. The SEC continues to oversee many aspects of the cryptocurrency market, and I will continue to monitor actions at the, as they unfold so that I can read more, but you get it. And then it says, we cannot have markets where the players are also the referees. Well, of course we can't, but yet it's still happening. It's still happening. I'm just so disgusted. I got this a few days ago, and I just, I had to be in the right mood to discuss it. I'm just going to give this a shout out before I talk more. Digital Asset Investor. He is all over this. He's all over this. Also, Digital Perspectives. And this guy I never give a shout out to. And I'm going to start doing it more often. Crypto Siege. He's great. This guy's great. I catch him a couple of times a month. He's another one that he continues to... He's putting himself in a better financial position with all the new opportunities rolling out. But the United States is being held back. Now, what happens if the U.S. dollar stops being the world currency? Which I feel that's happening now. There's no denying it. It's being broken down. It's, they're, they're breaking down the value of the dollar and it continues to lose more value. It's going to be harder to pay your bills. It's going to be your, your, your regular bills that you need to live comfortable. You're not bitching about paying bills, but what you're bitching about is it's going to be 10 times harder on the middle class that's getting wiped out. The U.S. dollar, dollar will, not, will not continue to be the global currency, and that's bad. That's really bad. So no matter the world reserve currency, you still owe your mortgage, credit card, car, and college tuition. The big difference is that those dollars will now be worth mere pennies. It's already happening. If, if you're walking around thinking, oh, everything's okay, let me just go to my job and get my paycheck, you're working for less all the way around. The increased taxes, increased inflation, then printing more money, value of the dollar goes down even more. It's ridiculous. I'm getting tired of it. And the more I understand, the more angry I get. It will be two, three, or even ten times harder to pay for anything, including food, water, and shelter. Um, what's her name? Lynette Zhang? Listen to her, too. She always preaches that, and she's right. I'm glad I started... Waking up when I did, because right now, I'd be screwed. At least I have a chance. Now, I'm going to go backwards here. What happens if the U.S. dollar collapses? The cost to import goods will skyrocket because foreign companies will no longer want dollars. Of course not. They're valueless. Our government will lose its ability to borrow at its current levels. We already lost that privilege. Forcing it to raise taxes, oh, well, no kidding, or print money to cover the shortfalls. Wow, really? Inflation will be at levels we never, we have never seen because of higher imports. Import. Is the dollar losing its value? While the dollar has declined over the past six months, this one gets me pissed off. It remains close to a 10-year high versus currencies of countries with which the U.S. trades. Now, nah, that's not, that, that don't hold true anymore. That's going away. It also remains the primary currency used for trade and financial transactions in the global economy. If you did not know that, I didn't know that before, 
but gaining more of a financial education over the past, since I last, left my last job, my focus has been gain a financial education, become your own financial advisor, figure out how, how you can earn money on your own. I'm, never, I'm not saying I'm never going to have another W-2 job, but I'm going to enter it with a whole different outlook. And oh, I'll be making sure they take the least amount of taxes out of my paycheck. That's a financial education. Okay, and the last one, what countries are dumping the U.S. dollar? Notably, exam notable examples include China. If you're listening, they're creating their own. Oh, oh my God. It's just so bad. Okay, I'm getting, um, I'm just so angry because why? Why? Because gaining a financial education, I, am, I, I really understand what I'm reading. I'm not the best speaker, but when I sit down and read and I write, I'm really good and I understand. I understand. And I understand a lot more than my surrounding environment. And that's another thing that angers me. It just, it's upsetting going it alone. Again, Jeanette, um, Lynette Zhang has this a group of like-minded people that I will be joining soon. Notable examples include China, Russia, Brazil, and the European Union, each of which has taken steps to reduce their reliance on the U.S. dollar in international transactions and financial markets. What countries are dumping the U.S. dollar? Come on. What else to show you here? I'm just furious. I, I, I'm out working. I'm just sickened all the time. But I will stay the course, work on my business online, figure out how I can create more cash flows, continue to pay off the little bit more debt I have. And I've learned so much in the past few years. And it's because I have hands-on experience. I gained the experience. I could have paid off all my debt, lesson learned. Financial education. Oh, and by the way, everything that I sold in the stock market, not many people can say that they can do something over with more knowledge and education in that niche. And here I am doing exactly what I did a couple of years ago. Had a lot, had a lot of highs and lows in the stock market. For someone who is new to it and didn't start dabbling in the stock market until she was 49 or 50, about 50, I'm not doing so bad. And the education is, I'm happy what happened happened because I would have thought I was smarter than the stock market. So at least I paid off a couple of credit cards and I gained a lot of experience and financial education. Um... I'm just so pissed. So the senator wrote me back. Visit crypto-law.us. John Deaton. Use his, I mean, just reading his tweets on the side here. John E. Deaton. If you can find any video of Gensler discussing Algo in a positive way, please reply tagging me with the video clip. Same thing with any speech or comment that he's made portraying anything to do with Algo in a positive manner. Because this guy is, it's like he's allowed to run the SEC. And I'm not the smartest in the group with all this stuff. But I understand enough that the man is incompetent or he's doing what he's doing on purpose because there's something involved. Evil just wants to hurt, wipe out the middle class. I, I just don't understand why he still is allowed to hold his position. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay, I was in the mood to do the video. I know this is a bit off topic, but this YouTube channel is a miscellaneous YouTube channel. I'm a gig worker who gained a financial education. I'm a gig worker who has been following this topic for a long time and it's sinking in and I'm more and I understand more 
And I understand that it just sounds like a bunch of corruption and nobody's doing anything about it. Not just because I received a letter, you think anything's going to be done? I don't think so, especially if Johnny e. Deaton's asking for help. He's fighting for all the people. So is BitBoy. Guys, I could go on and on. I got to go. I'll see you later. Thanks for listening. Don't miss this opportunity to get your hands on something so valuable that you can create generational wealth. I'll see you later.